In this problem, we're told that we need to drive 300 kilometers to an interview. We'll draw a little distance line representing 300 kilometers. And our car has left at 8 a.m. and the interview is at 11.15 a.m. And 8 a.m. to 11.15 a.m., that is a total time window of three hours, three and a quarter hours. So three hours and a quarter of an hour, or three 0.25 hours being our total time window. And the problem gives us some information about the first part of the trip. First, we travel 100 kilometers at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. And then we travel 40 kilometers at 40 kilometers per hour. And the problem is now asking us to find the smallest speed needed to make it to the interview just in time. So remember that speed is equal to distance over time. So let's first figure out the amount of distance needed. And that's just going to be 300 kilometers minus the distance we've traveled so far. This remaining distance to the finish line. So that's going to be 300 kilometers minus 100 kilometers minus 40 kilometers. And 300 minus 100 minus 40 is equal to 160 kilometers. So 160 kilometers is our remaining distance. And now we want to figure out the remaining time needed. And so from the speeds and distances we've already been given, notice that for the first leg of the journey, we're traveling 100 kilometers at 100 kilometers per hour. It's pretty easy to see from this that this first leg of the journey takes one hour. Because if it's 100 kilometers per hour, then traveling 100 kilometers is going to take one hour. For the second leg of the journey, it's going to be the same idea. If we're traveling 40 kilometers per hour, and we travel 40 kilometers, that's another hour. So after these first two legs of the journey have been completed, we've been traveling for two hours. So our remaining time is going to be the total time window, 3.25 hours, minus two hours. So we have 1.25 hours remaining. So the minimum required speed is just going to be equal to 160 kilometers divided by 1.25 hours, which if we put into a calculator, we find to be 128 kilometers per hour. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out making future videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. That's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.